Hello again and welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Um, today's beer is a very special beer. Reason being is from my home country, Wales. It's Rumley Breweries, Rumley Dark. Very excited about this beer. Um, I've done a lot of ales from around the world. Never actually done one from my own company. Company? Country even. Um, okay. This is a refreshing and full of flavour, which I'm no doubt it will be. Brewed to quench the fiercest thirst. And it's, as you see, it's 4% in the volume. Rumly dark. Uh, there's quite a bit of information on the back. And just a black top there. Okay, what can I tell you about this brewery? I've done my research. Their beers include Rumley Bitter, Rumley Dark, which I'm going to do in a moment, Rumley Export, which I've got. That's going to be the next. That's going to be the next beer over the next few days. Uh, I've got, or they do, sorry, Bevan's Bitter, Hobby Horse, and Premier Lager. Um, right. Without further ado. Oh, they've also won this company a bronze camera award. That's a, um, a British, I think it's a campaign for Real Ale Guy. A Real Ale is their, um, well, they've won a bronze in what year was it? Before I open it, 2008. There you go. Right, let's get this bottle open. Nice, nice, smell it from there, oh, straight away, coffee, coffee more or less, instantly, nice, nice coffee smell and taste, let's, um, let's pour it out into the glass, see what it looks like, oh, it's thick, it's very thick, it's Beautiful looking pint. It's coming out. I'd say this is a stout. Without a shadow of a doubt. This is a stout. Lovely thick. Thick looking beer. Nice head. Clinging to the glass. Which is a good thing. Chocolate. The coffee is so, the coffee is so strong. It's it's overpowering the um, the smell of the the, the beer. It, if I can explain, it's more, it's more the. I hope it doesn't, but it smells like a. I'm feeling it, it's cold. A cold cup of coffee. Right, let's give it a taste. The good thing is, which I was slightly fearing, the good thing is it doesn't taste like a cup of coffee or a cold one of that. The coffee taste is not as strong as the smell. Um, it's a nice fine balance. It's very balanced between the bitter taste of the coffee and I can taste it's a little chocolatey as well which is a very, very good thing to have a nice mixture of um, bitter and sweet. Bitter and sweet always goes well. Good beer from a good country. Cheers. I'm gonna give this beer an eight out of ten. Um, I do. If you, if you want to try this beer, I recommend getting a few of these. Pardon me, guys. They taste very very well. <coughs> um, nice evening drink, I'd say. Winter. Cool. Get some of these out. 
nice winter's 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 drink. It go well with um, I'd say steaks, anything like that. It'd be, it'd be interesting to see what this tastes like is on a on a draft, on a draft um, in a pub on a cask, just to see the difference. But the bottle tastes very very well. Um, merchandise. Let's go quickly into the merchandise. I've been on their website. They do hats, pint glasses, t-shirts, and short sleeve shirts, which are nice. The pint glasses are. Um, they've got their, their Rumney inscription on it, Rumney Brewery inscription. They're quite nice. Uh, they also do um, mugs, if you're interested in buying a, a tea mug or something like that. Um, if you want to order any of their merchandise or their beers, which I gave you earlier on, it's www.rumneybrewerylimitedltd.com. So that's rumneybrewerylimited.com. Um, they got a telephone number which is 01685 722253. They're located in the South Wales Valleys um, in Dowlice, um, just over Pontypridd. There, I've worked there in the past. Um, fantastic place, nice place to travel to. Um, I will tell you, I haven't said it on a, a, a few of my videos, the reason for this um, campaign, it's a campaign for Real Ale, um, it's making a re resurgent comeback. Um, it was only last night I went um, to a pub I haven't been to for a, for a few years. Um, they, they had uh, three Real Ales, to my absolute surprise. Um, they had Pedigree, um, Banks is Bitter, and they had, a, they had another Banks Pure Petal or something, some, something like that along those lines. But I, I went for that last drink, I tried to pronounce, failed. And it was very nice, very, very nice ale. I sat with my wife, we had a nice evening on this, on this ale. Um, but lager sales are going down. Whatever pub I seem to go to um, lately, um, even, even down in, into... Cardiff, they, they've got more and more real ales on selection and if you're new to real ale, you're a little bit unsure, try it. It's a fantastic drink, it's been brewed for, for a couple of thousand years. It nearly died a death in the 70s and 80s and 90s with lager sales, they were so dominant, everybody seemed to be drinking lager. I was only one of a few that were drinking bitter as they call it then, it's more of a, they changed the name kind of to Wales now um, and it's nice to see that they're making a resume so it's a campaign for real ale if you would like me to do um, a review for you a real ale review um, send me a beer be quite happy to do it um, you can email me at real ale guide at googlemail.com okay it's Romney Dark I'm gonna give it another try Very, very nice. Very, very nice. <laughs> it's kept its head but very well. Um, if you can see there, there's hardly any carbonation going on. It's, it's quite, keeps its head, but it's quite heavy. It is a heavy drink. It is a, it's definitely a stout in my eyes. Um, but if you haven't tried this one, give it a go. Well worth a try. Thanks for watching The Real Ale Guide. Um, I'll be doing a number of reviews in the future. Um, watch my videos if you haven't seen them all. Very good, very good. It, you'll be able to choose from a number of ales ranging from a number of countries. Um, and it should, hopefully, if you're, if you're new to Real Ale, hopefully you will be able to pick a beer and give me the old thumbs up. Send me over an email, tell me if you liked it, if you didn't like it, so and so. Okay, thanks for watching the Real Ale Guide. I'll be posting some more videos in the future. Goodbye now.